a lot of these players bracket today. But unfortunately, he's going to finish at third place. Still, still, very, very impressive. How much did you get paid? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. That's profit. I made, I made five dollars. That's profit. That's profit. If I didn't bring the setup, I would not have made five dollars. Oh, well, if you brought your monitor. No, wait, because you did. No, didn't I you didn't, get it waived? I didn't bring a monitor. I did get it waived, yes, because there was an extra monitor. So what did you pay five for? I paid, I paid five dollars for the entry fee. Oh, then the, oh, then the fee gets waived. Oh, okay. What's this? How many sets have I called at this point? Dang. A lot. I've called a lot of sets tonight. I, I, I gotta get both of us into the monitor here. Wait, that's... You turned it the wrong way. <laughs> I'm turning it the wrong way, I know. Uh, no, stop. No, wait. Uh, it doesn't no, matter. No. It's about to switch anyway. Oh, that's Maybe. true. It's about to switch. Probably. As we're gonna get into grand finals action right now, we got Nova from the winner's bracket playing a polished ribbon girl. Going up against Riven from the loser's bracket using King Cobra. He still hasn't left the game. He hasn't dropped a single round? Not one. Not one. No, not a one game? game? Nova? Yeah. Again, Nova, this is Nova's second grand finals appearance in two tournaments. Like, this man is looking to be at the very top of STL arms. And of course, a wonder to commentate alongside to boot. As we're seeing Spring Stadium as the starter here. Again, Spring Stadium, a very, very small stage. It's not, it doesn't give Kid Cobra a whole lot of room to do a lot of his shenanigans and dashing around and running around. It doesn't give Helix room either. Really? Uh, I struck it every every time. What? I struck uh, Spring Stadium every game. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because of like, the decreased space that it gives you? Was I? I think every every game of mine was in Spring. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, they're showing with this incredible presence here. But let's talk about this action going on right now. Briven actually... <laughs> the, uh... He's just yelling over He's everybody. He's taking a huge leap. But, uh, Riven has his rush. He may get the, uh, he may get some comeback from it. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's, oh, and just it as you say it, there's the rush. A uh, nice, sizable chunk of damage. Like, how much damage was that? That was like at least 300. 375 ish, I think. Mm -hmm. So now it's looking a lot more even. Still, it's looking a lot more. It's <laughs> yeah, a lot more even That's than it was what I last said. time. Yeah. Riven, with Riven. Right, Riven taking. The round. round one, showing this guy that man, you're not just gonna take this scene and run all over it. I am here and I'm here to take it over. Isn't it? And again, Nova hasn't dropped a single game like ever, not, not one ever. Like last, even last week, he didn't drop a game. We've been trying to be the first man to take a game off this man. It might be ending grand finals too. Yeah, exactly, ending grand finals. Momentum uh, is everything, and that's something that Riven tends, intends to take advantage of. Bouncing him off the spring for combo, kind of. It's like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it does a little bit. Hey, every, it's every it's pretty counts. even, but Nova does have that rush. Mm -hmm. The rush, just the presence of the rush is enough to intimidate your opponent. Like, I don't even, like, I can have rush all match. I don't even have to use it and you'll still be scared of it because of how much yeah, potential it has! If, you, and, if your opponent has rush, both of them throwing away the rushes. Like they traded it for one hit apiece. But if, if your opponent has rush, like you don't want to throw out both your arms, you don't want to like grab or anything. It's just... Mm -hmm. They could just t take 400... What's the most you can get from a rush so far? Like 500 maybe. Five, yeah, I've seen upwards of 500 for a rush. I think the most you can get is like 480 out of like CPs. But it's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Is that going to be it? That's going to close it Riven out. Riven taking the first game. Riven the first person in... Riven the first person in Game Haven Thursday Night Fights history to take a game off Nova. Riven going up. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty uh, big. Riven taking a game off Nova. And, yeah. You know what I just realized? If I keep getting third place, I can keep <laughs> entering forever. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it does not look like a character switch at all. No, uh, no, no, one's, no, no one's reason for them to switch their characters. Yeah, I don't. Well, the, Emily showed up last week and played like three characters <laughs> in one set. <laughs> She's the only one. She's the only one. That no one else. Has, no one else has switched characters. I, well, I mean, like. once I start playing, I might switch off. You might see the occasional Max Brass. I wonder how this scene is gonna make use of Max Brass. I don't know if we're gonna see a lot of them. And Sky Stadium. If we're gonna see a little what? Sky Stadium. Too. Well, no, I'm talking. I mean, talking about Sky Arena. I'm talking about like Max Brass. Was called okay, Sky well. Arena. He's gonna replace the DNA lab. In in starters, right? In DNA starters. Lab's DNA's, gonna DNA's, yeah, it's gonna be a counter pick later on. Oh yeah, another thing to realize here. They both have a whip arm. Mm-hmm. One of they're both using the um 
Amanders, the Mander <laughs> arms. Amander. Amanders. <laughs> One thing that you gotta note here is this Hydra sitting on Bryvin's, the Kid Cobra's right arm. I hate Hydra. Hydra, again, a very, very, very strong arm, especially against a fighter who excels in airborne play like Riven Girl. Hydra often impeding yeah, Riven Girl's aerial down. momentum. It does not any jump. Shuts him down. Game's looking. But it's not, it's not unbeatable. It's not unbeatable. Game is. It's very even right now. Both almost at their rush. Bragan with the slight rush lead. He has his rush now. He has his rush now, but no, he doesn't. I mean, he's, he's using it right now. He's it to take and it's get a lot of damage. Huge lead. A little extra pop right there for um, for good measure. Hmm. The, the Hydra is Nova a has really good rush. crush for him in this matchup right now. Nova can use the rush to make the comeback. He might save it to the next round. Looks like all of these whipped hits. The neutral in this set is above any other like above the neutral any other set that I've seen so far. That is because we're Nova set. taking the slight lead. Mm -hmm. Really, really close game right here. Nova waking up a little bit. Nova could use the rush to steal the oh, goal. Oh, are we gonna see a rush right, right rush. here? Missing all of it. Nova using the counter rush to take the round one of game two. No. Round one of game two. Very well said. Very well said. It's still at this point anyone's anyone's. Yeah, bad. I would still argue that yeah, momentum is still in Bryvin's favor right now. For sure. As we get into round two here on Mons Lane, have we seen use of the trampoline at all? No, <laughs> it hasn't broken at all. I think it breaks I think by throwing your enemies onto it. Okay. Or maybe some things can like hit it, but I don't think that But counts. like they're not landing him onto the Nova with two two grabs two right off the bat. Not not one. Not zero. Not two. three. Not three either. Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> taking Bryvin to half health. Nova's still he's taking still a sitting, single. Yeah, he has not been touched. Both of them are going for grabs. Oh. Nova's taking a hit at this point. Still way in the lead. And gets himself on the he's, board here with some damage. He's down one bar of health at this point. And another grab. Bryvin really, really good Looking at placing his grabs. Bryvin's. It looks like he's evening out at this point. Oh, but Nova evading everything. Oh, the rush? He's, I mean, that's more thats more damage than, he's, than anyone has gotten on Nova in a rush than like anybody. Because he keeps evading. He's so good at evading them. But he's able to catch him for a pretty good chunk of damage right there. Riven took the lead for just a second, but Nova took it Nova right back. Nova took it right back. Snatched it right away from him. Nova could use his rush to seal the deal. He needs to find an opening for it. That's one, of the, that's one of the questions where you got to ask yourself. Do I want to wanna risk it? Or do I want to use it to close out the match? Oh, or do I want to save it? Instantly. Got it got cancelled out. That's the way the game. So connect that press the home button. Don't do it. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> They're at even health, but Bryvin has that rush. Uh, it's like comes on even connected. They're Bryvin using the Whoa, rush wait a to minute, seal, wait a minute, wait a seal minute. round two. We're gonna go into game point right now. Bryvin. Round three, game two. He could potentially go up 2-0 uh, right it's, now. It's it's best of five. No, oh, it's best of five. And if, remember, if Riven wins this set, he he has he still has to win one more. Right, yeah, because he's, he's coming from the loser bracket. He's uh, he's switching out. He's switching to the uh, the cool rank. No, I don't know about that. That's questionable. I feel like he should have possibly stayed with Hydra here, but I'm gonna see what he's doing. Seems to be working out for him. Proving me wrong. Game's looking Nova's favor right now by about one full health bar. Yeah, that would be pretty spot on. Pretty spot on. Both, oh, Bryvin Again, gets the grab. The grab game. Evens out the game. The grab game in this, in Nova's this got bracket. His, Nova's got his rush though. Mm -hmm. Again, the presence of the rush, very, very threatening. Even if you, even if you don't use it, the opponent still knows that it's there. Another grab, evening it out once again. Looking like Ninjara. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know we were in the test punch again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Both, this both players with the rush around the same health. Rush. I think at this point, if Riven got a good rush off, he might be able to mm -hmm. take the take take the thing. Hello. I've, he I've could get it. He could get it confirmed no, no, no. into the rush. And that's gonna is that gonna be it? He took it. Riven goes up 2-0. Oh. No, it's live. Oh, okay. Live stream. Do we have two other commentators that can call Brandon? This, this is the last one. Last match. Yes, this is the last set. Perhaps if Bryvin can, no, he's a he got third, very very well. Third place. That's, that's incredible. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. 
if Brevin can close it out here and get the bracket reset, we can go right into the grand final set too. Of this nature? Yeah. When did you play this before? Last week. Oh. Alright. Last week he o 2 but then this week he's going in. He went in. Definitely. He has a set on Brevin. So that's, that's worth noting. How many set wins is that he won like? Five set wins. Who knocked you into losing? Correct. Not always. Hey, when my switch comes in. When my switch comes in, you should bring on my house. We can try it. It's downloaded. It's digital? Oh my god. We're completely ignoring the match right now. I'm so sorry. Riven, with a good he's and got a lead. Oh, yeah, those cash prizes, man. <laughs> These things pay. Riven's <laughs> <laughs> still sitting with a pretty good lead right now. He's looking at a possible bracket reset here. Solo commentating action for you guys right now. Great call using the Hydra, by the way. Great call using the Hydra. And that rush, rush does not discriminate. Nice combo off the springboards right there. As Ryvan is trying to get something, get it going back into his favor, get the momentum. As he's up 2-0 right now. Yeah, he has a lot of room. A lot of room to kind of get a feel for him and get a work, work around him. As we're still around one, you know, he could still find a rally and take it away. You don't know. You never know with these players, man. Game Haven arms. Incredible arms, actually. We've seen some crazy close sets. And some really good attempts at comeback, but we haven't really seen a huge comeback yet. And Nova's sitting with a just a slither of health. Ooh, great decision making right there. But looking like it could be it unless Nova wants to place a punch really well. Oh my god! He hit him. Wow. He hit him after the timer expired. Alright. So so that that can happen. Extremely close round right there. Yeah. <laughs> Clutch play right there as we get into the second round of this grand final game three. Set one. Brevin currently sitting at a 2-0 advantage, meaning he could reset the bracket and he could take these next two rounds right here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? Was that you, Alfred? Was that you? Did you press any buttons to read the controllers just now? Yeah, don't. Yeah, because they're playing. We, we just like did like a little. Yeah, but I want to really switch because that was. That could have been extremely obstruction. Oh, detrimental. Not seeming to matter to Nova right now as he's almost sort of running away with it. But, of course, we've seen all manners of impressive comebacks from all of these players, and it's definitely not out of reach right now. But it looks like he's just covering his options very well. Nice combo off the springboard there. He's able to get a little bit off of that. Yeah, it's a little commentator. It's hard. Uh, Spring Stadium, like, Kid Cobra's disadvantage on Spring Stadium showing off right now in that he, he doesn't have a whole lot of space to kind of run around and the... and the rush... Nova's going to avoid a 3-0. Nova's going to avoid a 3-0 as we go into Game 4 of Grand Finals. First of three. Nova just took game three. So he's going to avoid the 3-0, but we're going to go into game four here on Buster Beach. Good counter pick right now from Kid Cobra. He has a little more space to run around in this stage. As you get into this game four, what are we going to see? We're going to see Slamalander and Coolerang versus, I want to say that's I'm gonna say that's Popper. I think that's Popper. And Slap Amanda. So we got a lot of whips on the field right now. As Bryvin takes first blood. Taking advantage of that partition in the middle of Buster Beach. In the middle of that section of Buster Beach. Kind of put some space in between the two. Really good footsies right now coming out from both players. Both of them being aware of the decisions that they're making in neutral. 
And yes, we are seeing the strengths right now of Ribbon Girl. Uh, the, the Kid Cobra is often counterpicked against Ribbon Girl because he has that Hydra. But Nova's showing us right now. Well, he's not showing us right now, but he's Nova's showing us why. But that's not always the smartest choice. But Ribbon kind of pushing it back in favor of that statement is he's jumped out into a lead right now. No! <laughs> and <laughs> Byron takes game. Byron takes the first round. Looking at set point right now. If he takes a set, he will get the bracket reset and we will see a second set of grand finals. But Nova not out by any means. He can still take this away. Do not count him out, man. We got it's anyone's game right now. Nova definitely one of the top players right now in our scene. If if we can even call him top players, I think we should let it grow out a little more before we start talking about top players. But we're definitely showing who the threats are in bracket. You know, we got Riven, got we got Riven with the Cobra, we got Nova with the Ribbon, but we got Durful with the Helix going in this tournament for sure. So little commentating is hard, man. You have so much space during these one of these matches, you just gotta fill it with words. And we got Nova sitting on his last little silver health here. Could he get the reset right here? It, it is very possible. Yeah, but momentum, momentum, very, very important in matchups like these, and they're sitting like neck and neck. It's gonna get down to the wire for sure. One of them jumps out. Riven sitting with Rush. Nearing death right there and Nova is going to keep himself alive as we go into game point and quite possibly set point right here game four final round Nova taking first blood with that popper very very potent multi-hit weapon it's kind of hard to see in my honest opinion but uh, it gets the job done regardless and we're seeing the um and we're seeing the hydra pick again from Riven a really good crutch for Kid Cobra in this matchup in particular because of how it does such a good job at getting rid of this getting rid of her presence in the air which is so so dangerous but the grab game always present always living you have to be aware of it grab game is incredible all tournament these grabs have been just insane just from like across the entire map it's been wild as we see it again he could man he could do this he could pull it back. Riven sitting on his last little section of health right now, getting knocked away. Set point! And that's it. Nova's gonna take it. It is now tied. Two apiece. We're looking at a potential reverse 3-0 here. Alright guys, we're sitting here at game 5 on Grand Final Set 1. No switching characters. Where are we going to go? We're going to go back to Mausoleum? Yes, we will. We are looking at a potential reverse 3-0 here. It's going to be a great... It's already been a great set. It's been a great tournament, man. This has been incredible. I've called a little more games than I have bargained for. But I'm loving it regardless, man. As we get into this game 5 action right here. Starting with Slabamander... And Popper versus Slamamander and Coolerang. Slamamander Coolerang seems like a bit of a shutdown, um, a shutdown uh, build because of how Coolerang is able to corner your opponent with its great curves. With the great curves on. Incredible play coming out from both these players right now. I haven't really seen use of that trampoline in the middle of Mausoleum because no one's really landed a throw right and smack dab in the middle of that stage, but. These two players definitely putting on a show for us. We could see the potential. Again, like I've said, the potential, like the momentum. Again, momentum paramount in grand finals tournaments. In grand final situations like this. Like, you know, go up to go up two games on someone, then they go up two games on you. I don't know about you, man, but I would be a little shook. I'd definitely be a little shook. Because it seems like he's starting to figure him out a little bit. We can definitely see a pullback right here from Riven as he's got Rush on deck. Definitely can make some sparks fly with this rush. But knowing when and where to place it is paramount, but he's gonna block the rush. Lots of chip damage regardless, but suboptimal damage I'll put right there. Very dangerous situation right now for Brilliant. 
<laughs> As we're dwindling down to the closing seconds of this round, getting desperate to tack it on, and Nova is sitting on, quite possibly, quite possibly tournament point right here. If he can take away this round, it'll be his for the taking. But again, Riven with the fast-paced, high-octane speed of Kid Cobra, definitely gonna play a part in this comeback factor potentially here. But it's definitely not gonna be easy as Nova's got him figured out. He's just gonna get the rush full on 365 damage right there. Nice, nice chunk of damage to get a sizable lead right here in this round two situation. God. Yes, and hitting that, hitting that put, uh, rush was just completely very, very important in the momentum in the momentum game here because it's grand finals, grand finals game five, very, very tense situation right now. Tournament has tournament has really built up to this. This is like essentially the climax of the tournament right here. Rush it now for both players, but Nova gonna do another great job. Oh, and there goes the trampoline. We're gonna see some. Trampoline action coming for it, coming at you right now. Yes, gonna use this trampoline to kind of get a bit of aerial, uh, uh, like to pretty much more so to match Nova's aerial presence right now because it's Ribbon Girl. But he does have that Hydra arm, but that rush is not gonna discriminate. That could be it. He's sitting on a pixel of health. He could do it. He could do it right now. Is it gonna happen? Closing seconds, I mean. Closing second, seven, six, five. Are we gonna see it? The throw, not gonna have enough power behind it. That throw could have done it, but instead, Nova takes it. Riven, incredible effort right there. Trying to take down Bryven, trying to take down Nova. He went up two games on him, but in the end, Nova coming through with a clutch reverse 3-0. Nova takes first place here at Game Haven STL Arms Tournament. Bryven takes right. second place. Durfle takes third place. That's your podium. That was oh a great tournament, and that was actually that ran a really long time. That was really long. I think it. W I think it's pretty good that we didn't get a second set there because that would have just been more time. But I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed it. I enjoyed calling the sets. I enjoyed all of this action right now. Incredible, incredible tournament coming out for you guys right here. Thank you for watching with us. But that's gonna be our tournament. Like once again. Durf Durfla taking third place, Riven taking second, Nova winning thing for the second week in a row. Can anyone stop this man? Only time to tell as we see Game Haven close out once again. Thanks for watching. This has been your man's Blast M7 on the mic. Thank you for coming out and watching this stream with us. I'm going to see you. Peace out. Uh, that's all folks catch you next week <laughs> hey, I didn't